We look up to science to explain things which we don't understand, and in most cases they have an answer for us. But even scientists are often battled by the discoveries that they make and are left with more speculations and theories. This happens a lot in the field of archaeology, since they usually only have one or a few pieces of the whole puzzle, and the rest must be filled in with theories based on established studies. Today we'll be going over 10 of the most mysterious artifacts which scientists just can't explain, and probably remain so in the years to come. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing content. Number 10. Valley of the Whales Nicknamed the Valley of the Whales and yet situated in the middle of the Egyptian desert, the Wadi al-Hitan archaeological site boasts a large collection of whale remains from the earliest and long extinct suborder Archaeoceti. These prehistoric whales are known under the species name Basilosaurus and are believed to have flourished 37 million years ago under the Mesozoic era, when the Tethys Ocean existed between the ancient continents of Gondwana and Laurasia. Unlike modern whales, Basilosaurus had perfectly formed but relatively useless hind legs protruding from its flanks, but did not use it for swimming. This indicates that modern whales evolved from terrestrial animals according to vertebrate paleontologist Philip Gingrich, who spoke with National Geographic. He'd spent most of his career arguing in favor of this theory, which contradicts with a long-held belief that whales represent a lack of evolution. He and his colleagues have found the remains of a thousand whales in Wadi al-Hitan over a 27-year span. According to Gingrich's theory, the common ancestor between whales and all other creatures, salamander-like tetrapod, hoisted its body out of the water and onto land around 360 million years ago. Over time, its fins developed into legs and its body adapted to life on land, but some of them made their way back into the water and lost all reasons to have those legs, and eventually their bodies readjusted to the marine habitat. This is considered as an amazing feat among experts, so impressive that they can't quite explain how it pulled it off. Number 9. Unidentified Big Cat in late 2019, Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities announced the discovery of an extremely strange animal remain resembling a big cat. The creature was unearthed during excavations south of Cairo at Saqqara, an ancient town that was home to a vast burial ground and the famous Steppe Pyramid. Archaeologists think that the animal might be a lion or lioness based on ancient Egyptians' worship of felines, but this particular cat looked out of the ordinary for them to be uncertain, mostly because of its unusually large size. In an interview with Express UK, Egypt's Minister of Antiquities, Dr. Khaled El Enani, explained that the animal species will be announced after thorough DNA testing and CT scans. He credits the ministry's use of the most advanced archaeological technology available for this and other one-of-a-kind discoveries found throughout Egypt in recent years. Many of them will be featured in the yet-to-be-finished Grand Egyptian Museum, or GEM, which Major General Atef Mofta recently promised will be completed by the end of the year. The museum will feature over 100,000 ancient Egyptian artifacts, making it the world's largest museum dedicated to a single civilization. Number 8. Dorset Hybrids During an excavation in 2015 in Dorset County, England, archaeologists from Bournemouth University discovered Iron Age animal bones that were bizarrely rearranged to form mythical hybrid beasts. One cow, presumably sacrificed, was placed with four horse legs, Several other examples of horses and cows having their bones interchanged were also found. It doesn't end there. Two-headed sheep had the head of a bull protruding from the rear end. A dog fitted with three lower jawbones from cows all were discovered in the same site. The strangest discovery was the remains of a young woman resting over a bed of cattle, sheep, dog and horse bones with the specific animal bones placed while matching it with her own body parts. The skeleton shows evidence of her also being sacrificed. Stories of strangely blended creatures were a part of several Mediterranean cultures, including the Greeks, Mesopotamians, and the Egyptians. Prior to this discovery, such practices were not known to play a role in Britain's ancient Celtic population. Archaeologist and excavation co-director Dr. Miles Russell said that the sacrifice of so many animals and their strange placement will help shed more light on Iron Age belief systems and may suggest that the ancient Britons had beliefs or mythologies which involved hybridized animals similar to the ancient Greeks. What was the real purpose of these sacrifices and strange hybrid bone placements? Only time will tell. Number 7. Flint Funerary Objects While excavating a cemetery at the Karaisen archaeological site in Jordan, 
A team of Spanish archaeologists recently unearthed over a hundred violin-shaped flint objects dating back to 10,000 years. Their findings, published in the Journal of Antiquity, claimed that the artifacts may represent the earliest known examples of figurative art in the Middle East. Flint tools are unlike any other stone tools or weapons at the site and show no signs of wear and lacking sharp edges, archaeologist Juan José Ibanez told New Scientist. Ranging in size from 0.4 to 2 inches, the artifacts vaguely resemble the human form, according to the researchers. They mentioned that these items may have been used to express beliefs, feelings, and to show their attachment to the deceased, co-author Ferran Borrell told in an interview with Senga News. Some experts agree with this, while others are unconvinced, citing the human tendency to see human-like features we want to see. In other words, we see what we want to see even in the absence of any real evidence. What curious-looking artifacts! Number 6. Whale and Cannonball while conducting preliminary excavations ahead of the construction of a new light rail system in the Edinburgh, Scotland port town of Leith, archaeologists unearthed a strange array of artifacts, including an iron cannonball, the remains of what may have been a 16th or 17th century seawall, and a pair of bones belonging to a deceased male sperm whale. Discovered in late 2019, the matching radius and ulna are thought to be as much as 800 years old. Experts are still waiting on radiocarbon dating results to confirm its age. Leith was a whaling town back then, with the industry peaking between the early 17th and 20th centuries, so it's possible a whale hunter brought the bones back as a trophy, although they would have been strange body parts to keep, according to Edinburgh Council archaeologist John Lawson. It's also possible that the whale might have beached itself nearby and somehow reached its final resting place. How unusual yet intriguing, wouldn't you say? Number 5. Ancient Demonic Drawing Now on to something truly creepy. While examining a 2,700-year-old Assyrian clay tablet earlier this year at the Vodera Siatishis Museum in Berlin, Assyriologist Truls Pank Arbol noticed a disturbing depiction of a demon with horns, a tail, and a forked tongue. Arbol was the first researcher to notice the 2.5-inch or 6.4-centimeter inscription, despite the artifact having been discovered decades earlier. The tablet, which was lightly copied from a much earlier text, belonged to the private library of Kisi Ashur, a man who lived in Assur, an ancient city which was in present-day northern Iraq around 650 BC. Written in cuneiform, it contained remedies for a condition which the Assyrians called Bennu, which entailed epilepsy-like symptoms such as convulsions, involuntary movements, and twitches. Modern medicines have come a long way since then. Assyrians believe that demon possessions caused the Bennu, which might explain the demon depicted in the tablet. Arvold's months-long analysis of the barely noticeable image theorized that the ancient society believed that epilepsy-inflicting demons act on the behalf of Sin, the Mesopotamian moon god. Although the inscriptions have been properly identified, the motivations behind whoever created it remain somewhat of a mystery. Number 4. Inca Offering The next find takes us to South America, straddling the border between Peru and Bolivia. Lake Titicaca was a sacred site to the Inca Empire. As the site of the civilization's creation story, the Isla del Sol, or Island of the Sun, situated in the lower part of the lake, was home to over 80 temples and other ritual-related structures throughout the Inca's peak period. A recent study details how an international team of archaeologists discovered an andesite offering box at the bottom of the lake, roughly 18 feet below the surface. It's estimated to be at least 5 centuries old and measures 14 by 10 by 6.4 inches. It has an offering cavity accompanied by a stone plug, and inside it was a llama figurine made with spondylus, a rare and valuable coral-colored shell of a spiny oyster, as well as a small rolled cylinder of gold sheeting. Researchers believe that the gold roll represents a chupana, a bracelet which Incan noblemen wore. Researchers have discovered parts from over two dozen offering boxes so far. They believe that the offerings have different meanings, ranging from political statements to farm-related requests, co-author Christophe Delera told National Geographic in an email. The specific meaning of the recently discovered box's contents is unknown. Hopefully, residue analysis and other testing will produce more details about these cryptic artifacts soon. Number 3. Egyptian Mystery Woman In 2017, archaeologists working along the west bank of the Nile at Dasha, the royal ancient Egyptian necropolis, discovered the foundations of a 13th century pyramid. They continued to dig until they reached the burial chamber where they found wood fragments 
which piece together to form a coffin lid depicting a beautifully carved female face. To the surprise of the experts, including Egyptologist Dr. Yasmin El Shazli, the entombed individual was not a king, but a mystery woman. Chest in her burial chamber may shine more light on her identity, and turns out it did reveal some clues. The box belonged to a princess, because on it it said, Daughter of the King, and then it would be followed by the name. Dr. El Shazli said in The Mystery of the Lost Pyramid, a Smithsonian documentary released earlier this year. Unfortunately, the name was the most damaged area of the box, which was most frustrating and prevented them from unraveling her identity. Ancient Egyptians believed that the worst thing you could do to anyone is to erase their name. The woman's unknown identity is not the only mystifying thing about the pyramid. As Professor Aidan Dodson explained that this kind of pyramid design is specific to a king. It's not what you would expect a junior member of the royal family to be in, with a tomb and a chamber at the bottom of it. Why was this mysterious woman buried in this royal pyramid? Number 2. Ancient Masks For most, these masks probably look like something of a modern-day horror movie, and rightfully so based on initial impressions, but they were never supposed to be scary. In fact, archaeologists believe that they were intended to be a tribute to the deceased. The masks, which are approximately 9,000 years old, were found in Israel's Judean mountains. Archaeologists have managed to find 12 of them in total, and they all come in different facial features. Experts think that since they show different facial features, they're most likely representations of real people over gods. The Stone Age people who created them must have been one of the first to shift from a nomadic existence to settling down in one area and building homes. As of now, the true purpose of these masks can only be hypothesized. Number 1. Alien Artifacts in Mexico one night in 1999, Dr. Pablo Enrique Garcia Sanchez set up camp in the barren desert in the sparsely populated northeastern Mexican town of Ojuelos de Jalisco. During his stay, the man allegedly discovered a strange small rock covered in mysterious carvings which seemed Mayan in origin. But this was highly unlikely, since the ancient Maya were known to have settled at least a thousand miles or 1,609 kilometers away from this location. Aztec trading routes, on the other hand, had extended much into the north, indicating a probable source of this mysterious object. Locals informed Garcia that they had been finding similar artifacts for over 80 years. Based on a rumor about a nearby cave supposedly having hundreds of similar items, Garcia formed a research team called Nahoi Olin, which in the Aztec language Nahutl means fifth world. They supposedly catalogued over 400 items found in that area, including a helmet shaped like an alien's head. The clay and stone objects appeared to depict things like UFOs, aliens, humans in spacesuits, and scenes from outer space. After gathering so many artifacts, Garcia's collection was surprisingly scarce when the academic community finally paid attention to it. What's even more strange, there are no verified credentials of Dr. Garcia anywhere on the internet, and no reputable websites or organizations have any information on these so-called alien artifacts. Strange indeed. With that, we're at the end of the 10 most mysterious artifacts which scientists still can't explain. Have you heard of any of them before? Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments. For such and crazier topics, be sure to smash the like button, share and subscribe, and we'll be back with more. See you next time.